What's up everyone, welcome back to West Seattle. It's been back with a super cool one. This is the Phase AI from Storm. So numbers wise, 247053. We'll get into all of that shortly. Looks super cool. Looks like my checkerboard vans. Put that down for now. Let's see what we got out on the lanes. This is our West Seattle Bull house shot. So let's use a benchmarky ball like Ion Pro. Stand house shoddy spot for me. Let's see what we got. Yeah, so I am pro excellent. If you haven't tried one yet, highly recommend. Definitely an upgraded, more modern day way to think about benchmark. Super big buzzword lately. Benchmark in the middle of your bag. A barometer for what's going on out in front of you. Let's throw another one, make sure we're lined up. Okay. So, maybe a little slow speed on that one. Don't let the numbers for Ion Pro fool you. It's a capable and somewhat strong ball, especially in the back part of the lane. It kind of pops. Part of that is the cover, and part of that's the core. So, the numbers on the screen. Let's, uh, let's throw one more. So that was a two-ish and change left off of that. Probably a little more left than I'd like to start on a totally fresh house shot. I did throw some warm-up shots with some other stuff that had some surface just to kind of semi-break down the lane. It's just me out here. So a little bit of transition is a good thing when you're throwing some shiny bowling balls. Let's see what we got. Of course, the Phase AI, we'll get to that in a second. First on the roster, it's Big Brother. One of my most favorite balls from about a year ago, year and change ago. This is the Phase 5, the phase that came before Phase AI. For a medium shiny ball, I don't know of many others that are better than this one. Now there are some differences. Let's start in the same spot, maybe we can see them together. Yeah, so difference number one. Phase five is gonna go a little long. Cover R2S Pearl. It's been around for a while because it's super trusted and super proven. It's also super clean. Clean meaning it's not having as much friction at the front part of the lane. So it's getting through the first half of the lane very easy. So old bowling balls will have a certain spot in your bag at certain times, in certain places, with certain people around you. For me, phase five is a ball that I'm gonna be bringing out when there is a bit of transition. Transition meaning that the lane is changing from a freshly oiled shot to a shot that's not as freshly oiled. People are throwing stuff down, it's changing it up. Usually a little friction appears, and so phase five loves that. Surface prep. This one anyway, uh, box finish, reactor gloss. This is a brand new phase five that I just drilled the other day. My first phase five has seen some things. It's done some good work. So it was time for a fresh one. So standard factory reactor gloss polish. And that is a key detail because when we get to phase AI, something changes. See how in all three of those, the first one, just a little long, the second one, just a little long, and that one, definitely long. Again, this ball has its place. It's just me out here. There isn't a ton of transition. I probably wouldn't be throwing this right now, but if I had a couple buddies with me, breaking the lane down a little bit, phase five eats them up. Let's get out of phase five and go to the pink daddy. Optimum Idle Pearl. This has been one of my favorite medium balls ever. 
This one is so good. Let's stand in the same spot that I lined up with the ion. Let's see what we got. That one was garbage out of my hand. We're gonna throw another one or two uh, because of that. But Optimidal Pearl, it's not just your everyday run-of-the-mill pearl. This one has some texture, kind of that micro, nano, extra teeth on teeth going on underneath the polish. To me, I think kind of makes a big difference. Let's throw a better shot, same spot. Yeah, much better shot. So Optimum Idle Pearl has teeth on teeth under the polish. What's important to know about that is that while your run-of-the-mill pearl is going to prioritize getting to the front part of the lane, storing energy, and sharply going through the pins, this one doesn't, at least for me. Optimum Idle Pearl is kind of round and smooth, super controllable, and so because of that, it's super useful a lot of the time. Let's throw one more, kind of see its rounded shape. Yeah, so that one, a little late six into the 10, somewhat similar to the way the phase five wasn't just hitting that pocket as hard as you might like. But again, that's for right now, super fresh. Almost time for this, but not exactly it. We'll break it down together though. I actually wanna throw one more where slow the speed down just a little bit and get it to go through the pins the right way. Kind of hit on that one a bit. So, uh, maybe not my best shot, but you can see when you need it to go, it'll go. Slightly different layout for this one compared to phase five and phase AI. Layout on the screen, this is about a five by 45. All right, but it is time for the star of the show, phase AI. Actually really excited about it. Early verdicts that I've heard is that this ball gets up and goes in the back end. We're gonna find out. We're gonna line up in the same place as the others and we'll talk about what's going on with it. <laughs> uh, that looked good. First note before we get to the importance though, this ball looks super sick spinning up that white and black, looks like ghosts flying around. So, perfect Halloween ball here. Let's go trick-or-treating. Let's throw another one. Same spot. <laughs> two for two on strikes. It's a good sign. I kept that one more in the oil. I think I'm a little hesitant to get it out to the friction right now, um, but we're gonna find out. So, phase AI. What is different about this one compared to say the other shiny phases that have come before it? Well, a couple things. Number one, what's inside. So what's inside, same weight block that we know from the phase line, but now it's wrapped with AI core. And what that's doing is two things. One, it's bringing the numbers of the core from 14, 15, and 16 pounds to be a lot closer together so that the original engineered intent of what it's supposed to do can be a little truer for just about everybody. Two, the coefficient of restitution, big words, uh, but that has elevated. What that simply means is the hitting power, as this thing transfers energy into hitting something else, that has elevated a little bit too. So, hitting through the pins, it's gonna be a little more powerful, and who doesn't want that? Outside, Phase AI has a cover that we've only seen I think once, we'll get to that in a sec, and a brand new, never before seen finishing process. We'll touch on that too, after we throw this one. Yeah, it's, it's going. I like it though, it's not as hockey stick 
as maybe I had heard some initial whispers of. Which, again, hockey stick definitely has its place. Uh, and when it's time for that, it's amazing. This one though, still reading the middle of the lane, which is what I prefer and need from all of my pearl bowling balls. This one does it. Let's throw another one. <laughs> so, the angle is there, but it's not because it's blowing through the entirety of the lane and storing everything for just the back and then jumping on me. You can start to see it, especially with these white swirls, you can start to see it building up, setting up, getting its feet stable, and then diving through the pins. And I would imagine that a ton of that has to do with what's going on on the outside of this. So this is TX16 Pearl cover stock. I think we've only seen this on the Journey. Super underrated ball. For me, it was nice and round. Read the middle part of the lane for a shiny ball, similar to what we're seeing with this. So with Journey, I think there was React Gloss on the outside. With Phase AI, we have a brand new compound called Power Edge. So what is Power Edge? Well, back in the day, you might recall that Storm had step one, step two, and step three compounds. Step one was sort of that lower grit, earlier reading compound. Step two was that sort of in the middle compound that Storm applied to just about everything polished out of the factory. And then step three was the one where you needed it to go a little longer, had you covered. Power Edge is kind of hearkening back to the now discontinued step two. So some of that classic Storm back end that uh, we know and love might be in the box again. In the case of Power Edge, rather than having all the teeth covered and submerged under the polish, Power Edge is almost just polishing those peaks and valleys of the teeth. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. Let's move two left. And by two left, I mean also move the break point. Crazy, right? So it sat in the friction a little bit and it showed me that this ball has no problem dealing with my errant shot and getting back to the pocket. Smash it. Let's move another left. Yeah, it's capable even in the oil, even on somewhat fresh, even when it's just one person bowling. For a pearl ball to do that, you need not just summer tires, you need some all season tire versatility. So this kind of has that so far as I'm seeing now. All right, let's get up against the ball return. Let's see if it can make it back from here. Remember, it's polished, but there's still some teeth underneath. <laughs> Steamrolled that nine pin. That messenger came over for insurance. Didn't need it. All right. This may not be a ball I would use as a benchmark ball, meaning maybe the versatility isn't super wide ranging. It's got its place, but let's move 10 right. <laughs> See what's going on. Yeah, you flatten your hand a bit. It's gonna stay on line nice. So if that's more around the line you'd prefer to play on a house shot, maybe it does have some opportunity to be more of a well-rounder than I thought. Let's throw one more from its optimal line though, and then we'll bring its friends back out and have a few more comparisons. <laughs> this ball is good. You know, it reminds me, I think most, at least of the ones I have out here, of Optimum Idle Pearl, but just a little more giddy up at the back. So 
it's reading the middle of the lane. I can definitely see that. It's not too hockey stick at all, actually. So let's bring his cousin out. Same spot from there. Kind of like a back-to-back -back look at it. Okay, we're starting to break the lane down a bit. So difference one that I can kind of see is optimum model curl is reading a little bit earlier than phase AI. So that means it slows down a little bit. It has time to get its legs underneath it. And then not dive, still rounded at the back. Let's move a little left, give it a little bit more time, a little bit more oil. I need to move just a little bit more, but around there. So optimum model pearl, just a little earlier, slows down a little sooner, and probably a little rounder in the back part of the lane. So if that's what you're looking for, now you know. Big brother time, phase five. Now remember, this has R2S pearl, weaker pearl, cleaner pearl. Yeah, got down the lane a lot easier, I thought. But I also kind of hit on it more than I needed to. Let me throw a better one. Yeah, so rather than slowing down a little sooner, getting set, kind of went through that break point, kind of getting to the outside part of the lane a little too easy left that kind of blower strike. Something like this, would either want my feet a little more right, which we're gonna do now, about two right, or slower speed, but let's try this one first. <laughs> kind of the same result, just in a different way. So again, the hallmark of phase five, Still amazing, capable core. One of my favorite covers of all time. Just needs a little bit more transition. A little bit more lane breakdown. I'm gonna throw one more. I think if I move right off that, it'll be in a friction too long and kind of jump. So I'm just gonna slow the speed down just a tad. Yeah, there's phase five. Pretty great. So. We had one more here, and that's the Ion Pro. So why even have the Ion Pro out here? Well, like I said, it's a good way to get an initial read of what's going on out on the lanes, the benchmarky and all that. But there's some DNA that's shared with the Phase AI here in that there's AI core on the inside, different weight block, much less flaring. But uh, this is TX16 Hybrid. So it's the same cover as Phase AI, but with a little bit of solid mixed in too. So a shot where you can yank it left like that, and it sits in the oil a little longer than you'd like. That little bit of solid is gonna help it slow down a little easier. And then the pearl gives it some energy retention. Let's throw a better one. Or another garbage one. Well, three for three when it comes to not the best shot, but there's some Iron Pro for you. Kind of see the difference especially compared to Phase 5 and Optimum Model Pearl, kind of like Phase AI, maybe a bit sooner, probably the solid, the hybrid, helping it to slow down. One more, we're bound to throw a good one, right? There you go, that was great. So, Ion Pro, great benchmark ball, it can also handle some fresher conditions and it can handle some transition. Lane's starting to burn up a little bit. 
kind of gets you through a pretty wide window of things you might see out in the lane. All right, let's wrap it up. So who's phase AI for? Well, if you bowl at a center, maybe an older center, older lanes, maybe more friction at the front part of the lane, phase AI. If you bowl with other people that use a lot of surface on their bowling balls and it's soaking up that precious oil at the front part of the lane, phase AI. But if you need to get through that front part of the lane but still have some legs underneath it to set itself up in the middle part of the lane, get to that pocket with some stability, some control, phase AI. It's a pretty good one, don't sleep on it. Let's throw two more and we'll get out of here. Here's one, that was a good one. Leave with that one. So phase AI, super stoked about this. I will be using this tonight in our men's league. I think it comes out October 18th, so get yours then. But uh, for today, that's all I got. So we'll see you in the next one.